Alrighty then, welcome to another repentance run. We're starting with uh, Guardian Angels and Monstros Tooth. Okay, I'm not, I'm not too opposed to that, but before we get too far into things, here's a little something something I picked out. It's actually from yesterday's episode. It's from Kipper Slapper, which I really love your name. Uh, it says, nice video and commentary, dude. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know what? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I accidentally clicked on something else. I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> But we also get God's Flesh. Hmm, interesting. Uh, before I get too much into the commentary, let's talk about our stats here. Uh, starting with uh, 0.89 movement speed, uh, it can definitely be better. Our damage is actually pretty dang good at 4. So, and our same as with our fire rate. You know what? I'm happy with this. I'm happy. Uh, but our items that we started here with, uh, Monstrous Tooth, when uh, it activates, you actually get something like that and I was hoping that he would land on this black dish over here sadly he did not so I was trying to get to this red chest uh, but yeah monster two summons a little monstro and uh, yeah our little guardian angel there that's so happily swinging around us like I don't know some sort of kid in a candy shop or something uh, he uh, he blocks projectiles but also sucks them in so, it, it does kind of tend to lead you to get hit, so it's not like the best orbital out there. Uh, as I've said before, I tend to like orbitals just in the sense that they can block uh, enemy projectiles, but uh, yeah. But the item we got from God's Flesh, or from the item room, called God's Flesh, uh, messing up my uh, little thing there. What that's going to do is you're going to fire out that kind of glowing tear you see there, and what that's going to do is shrink an enemy. Now, that does not stop any form of death rattle. Like these these red bigger flies that we're putting out here. Yeah, uh, if we try to step on them, which is what you do when the uh, targets get real tiny, uh, the tears will explode out of them and actually hurt you. So keep that in mind if you ever get on to like a champion or something like that. Uh, so you don't end up taking bad damage. Uh, speaking of bad damage, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of run we get today. Whether or not we're going to be taking a bunch of bad damage, or if uh, we're going to get absolutely jacked this run. Hopefully we end up getting absolutely jacked. I mean, yesterday's run was good. I, I actually enjoyed it, even though it ended the way it did. But, you know, sometimes just getting nothing but wins is a little boring. You just need to have fun with it as well. Uh, do we actually want to go into the curse room? I think we do, since we have red hearts here. We can, uh, heal ourselves back up. And one thing we could do is actually use Monstro to, like, sit, sit on ourselves. Like, sit on me, Monstro. And then, uh, break those, those rocks there so we can get access to that red chest. Maybe it'll be a teleport to the Devil Deal? Maybe? I doubt it, but it could be a possibility. Could be some soul hearts. Or continuously more spiders that, that, that's fine by me I do not believe that you can use monstro to get rid or destroy the donation machine or even get into the uh, secret rooms or super secret rooms there you go thank you oh, <laughs> don't mind if I do all right well now we don't have to worry about dying this time and with that I think I'm just gonna go on down to the next floor uh, we're most likely going to lose the Devil Deal, but if, if we do end up getting it, we have plenty of lives to take what we want. But, uh, speaking of getting Jack, I, you know, I have this fixation that I have whenever I'm trying to do something. I'll, I'll hyper fixate on something and I'll go and research it to, like, the absolute ma largest extent that I possibly can. I don't know, I probably have some form of, uh, I don't know. ADHD or something like that that causes me to do something like that. Okay, okay. We do get a soul heart. All right. Two of the same pill. Is it double addicted? Uh, yeah, not too interested in that. Let's see what our item room is. And it's going to be key bomb, which is another thing I'm not interested in. I mean, we could get them in just in case we get the bum transformation, but I don't know, man. I don't really like the uh, the bums. The only one, the only bum I like is the dark bum because it can give you soul hearts. Yeah, I'll use a bomb here. You never know. And that's why I didn't want to. All right. 
But yeah, speaking of getting jacked, you know, the whole hyperfixation. One thing I've been doing is like researching different uh, exercises and stuff like that because I, I don't want to get back into it. I've I finally cleared out basically enough room so that way I can actually, you know, use the room. And uh, I only have one darbell, uh, dumbbell, not darbell. What am I talking about? Uh, did you see that little bit of trail that was on the enemy before we shrunk them? If I went to go step on them, then I would have taken damage from the uh, the creep there. So also keep that in mind when you have dealing with those kind of enemies. Just just getting a little information there. I have no idea where the secret room might be. It's probably to the left of here, over here. I'll go ahead and use my last bomb. Hey, look at that, it was. Just looking at the uh, general flow of the uh, the floor. Okay, got ourselves some troll bombs. I was hoping that it would shoot the bottom one down, but it did not. Uh, we have a charge of monstrous truth tooth, and I'll show you how good it is. Look at that, basically half health them. Not too bad. And uh, I'm gonna try to get rid of the little demon baby over here. We, uh, this is a no demon baby having house. No more demon babies. A screaming demon baby, that's what that one was. Well, then again, it wasn't a champion, so I can't really say if it was a screaming demon baby. Which is honestly really fun to say. Screaming demon baby. Uh, do we want to pick up the HP? I'm going to say no, because if we use a life, then we can just pick up that up to give ourselves some more. Alright, get Guppy's, uh, Guppy's head and uh, the Satanic Bible, which I will take and run out. Go back in. That's one thing you can do if you are trying to reset a bunch of lives, because then you die out there and you respawn back in here. Do I want to keep Guppy's head? Mm, not really. I think we'll stick with the Satanic Bible. And with that, uh, I think we're done with this floor. Yeah, there's really no point in doing anything else. I could go alt path, I do have a key for it, but we're honestly not that strong. Yeah, I'm just going to go down. For those of you that are new here and don't know, I like going alt pass so I can go into the mirror dimension and get an extra boss item. But a lot of times that uh, causes you to, if you're not if you're not confident in your ability, you can uh, die very easily because you're in the lost form. Uh, and we are just going to be looking for the boss room now, so that way we can end up using Satanic Bible because I don't actually want a devil deal for our boss item. You know, the boss pool. I, I've I've tried this before. You know, come here, you grub. Uh, I've tried this before where uh, I've tried like a trinkets only run where instead of boss items it would drop trinkets and when you pick them up, squish, uh, and you pick them up, excuse me, can you uh, chill out a little bit there? Uh, whenever an item spawns it would get replaced by a trinket and you pick it up and then you get immediately smelted. Uh, I've tried doing that. But I found that I became extremely weak without one, either one, either the item room pool or the boss room pool. I will really use a bomb here because I can just give a good look see at the wall there and be like, yeah, that's a nice wall right there. That's a nice wall. And then uh, say, yeah, I'm going to definitely believe that the secret room is going to be there. Honestly, the best way to, to learn how to find them is just practice. And I thought he would have died much quicker than that. Alright, well, we have 17 cents. Might as well go into the shop. And we have Soul Converter, which would turn this Black Soul Heart into a HP upgrade. But I think I'm going to stick with what we have right now. I'm still just looking for that, that boss room, which it continues on here. Now, we did pick up Shield Tears, which is going to be very helpful against... Ooh, look at that, those Mega Leaps. Uh, it is going to be very useful against bosses that, you know, or even enemies that put out a bunch of tears. Oh, sorry, I had to super concentrate here. I had these spiders. They, they're, they got my number. I don't know how they got my number. I'm blacklisted, so you're not supposed to be able to call me, but... All right, uh, good for you, I guess. But we do need to increase our fire rate. 
Because look, look at this. You get a you get a mob that can shoot relatively fast, and basically all your tiers get canceled out. So if we can increase our fire rate, we can essentially keep ourselves safe the entire entire time. And I'm honestly a little tempted to just black heart bomb this this room and then use the satanic bible. Even though I said I didn't want a devil deal for the for the boss room item, because that's what happens when you use the uh, satanic bible. Same with the Book of Revelations, except uh, it's going to be a horseman, and you're probably going to get an orbital like a uh, cube of meat or a ball of bandages. Which, if you're going for those, you know, to get the super meat boy or super bandage girl, then uh, go for it. I definitely love getting an army. Come here, squish. I definitely love getting an army of uh, bandage girls and super meat boys. It's honestly my favorite thing to do in this game. Other than... Wait for that thing to fire. Uh, other than, uh, you know, getting super good synergies. Man, I just walked over that. Alright, well, we're going to get inside here. Okay, it's going to be fallen anyway. So, we don't really need to, to worry about. Do that. There we go. Easy peasy. Don't really need to worry about a devil deal. Ooh, um. One thing you can do. Pick up this pill. And then do that. And do I want Brother Bobby? Not really. I kind of want to keep the HP. Uh, bloody lust, as you can see there, Lusty Blood does give us... And we also have Bloody Lust out here. Which... Uh, does it... Okay, it does last for the entire floor. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. And with that, I'm just going to go down to the next floor. We do need to keep a little bit of a precaution because we need to keep uh, our HP in check. Don't want to get in a situation where we're down to uh, one HP and, you know, one life. Because uh, that tend tends to happen whenever you have nine lives. And if you actually end up dying and using all your nine lives, the little guppy head there that's following us around, you actually will lose that. And if you have guppy already, you'll actually lose the transformation. Which I didn't think that was a thing until it happened to me. I was like, wow. I did, didn't know that happened. Okay, seeing their bloody lust coming out. Or, lusty blood. One of them. Uh, giving us a decent damage up for killing enemies in a room. But it is going to end after... After exiting the room. Come here, squish. Now... God's Flesh is going to be a little interesting for this run. Because like I said, it's you got to be careful of champions and enemies with death rattles. So if, you, if you're not too knowledgeable, I would definitely say don't ever go in for the, the squish kill. And we're still just going on here. We found the item room. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Mongo Baby, welcome. You're, you're uh, a great addition to this team. I absolutely love you. Ooh, almost got me. Uh, do I want to use the Satanic Bible? Not really. I mean, we could get an Angel Deal. I mean, not Angel Deal, Double Deal. I'm not really thinking that we will. Let's pop these real quick. Ooh, look at that. We got our penny back. Hey, look, we got another penny. All right. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Because if we use the Satanic Bible, we're going to get a Double Deal for our boss item. And I don't really want that. Well, it doesn't really matter now. A 9% chance, which... You know, it's still a possibility. It's unlikely. It's still a possibility. I don't think there's any way we're actually going to die on this run. Magic Mush? Aw, no mushes today. No Mega or Mini. I mean, we are, we're, we're going to die quite a bit, but we're not going to, like, end the streak kind of die. So I wouldn't keep that. Ooh, that is nice. Stapler. All right. Well, I'm actually tempted here to just off myself. So that way I don't have to do this room. But you know what? Mama didn't raise no biatch. I'll do it. And I won't get hit. Watch. Man, we are taking a little bit of time to do this room. Come on, musty blood. Squish. And it's going to be this dude. Okay, well, he's... Whew, almost got me. 
a little annoying, especially since we have cobwebs in the middle of the room. It's going to be a little hard to dodge sometimes. And he's just going to keep charging. Okay, well, he's like a bull in a china shop. I don't... Oh, yep, there, you, there it is. I couldn't remember if he actually... <laughs> uh, I couldn't remember if he actually used the, the brimstone attack or not, but... Good thing we got our nine lives, right? Totally not a crutch. If you see right there, I actually used the... Used the shield of tears to block the, uh, the, the tear from the champion diglet. Because they do a full heart's worth of damage. You know what? I'm actually gonna... No, no, no. We should hold on to the left hand. We have two or three for Guppy. And these red chests could have a good uh, possibility of giving us Guppy. Um, champion belt. It is a damage up, and we're kind of desperate for damage. Fine, I'll take it. Even though this does put us at a little bit more of a disadvantage uh, position. Because now we're going to be facing more champions, which are harder. True. Oh, almost got me. Let's take this other pill, because I don't want to hold on to the addicted pill anymore. I have no idea what it turns into when you get a PhD or some sort of positive pill effect. Squish. Definitely still need to increase our tears rate. But, uh, I hope everybody's been having a relatively good week. It is Thursday. Come here, squish. Uh... Has anybody got any other projects they're getting into? Anything, uh, they're learning or anything like that? Like I said earlier, with the whole, uh, you know, getting better at the... Or hyper-fixating on something and then doing a bunch of research, like I said about the, uh, the exercising and whatnot. I did do some research on, like, di dietary stuff because, well, you know, that that's half the battle of, you know, getting fit or losing weight or whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, the other half is actually, you know, exercising and doing, doing the appropriate exercises so that way... Uh, you can actually get to where you want to. Which is something that somebody doesn't really talk about too much. Or not really... Hmm. I wish I had a bomb for this room, to be honest. Uh, whenever you're trying to do something... Okay, well... Thank you, uh... Bloody Lust or Lusty Blood, whichever one it was that gave me damage for getting hit. Ugh, Carrying Queen. Absolutely hate you just because of the front face. Alright. We did get a devil deal, which I'm going to go inside of first before taking everything. Uh, PH, false PhD. Do we want false PhD? Not really. We kind of want all the stats we can get. Uh, and one thing we're going to do is actually end ourselves to get a few lives here. And one thing what you can do, watch this, since we have 1 HP, we're going we're gonna to save this life. Watch watch what I'm going to do, and also get the Horror Babylon effect. I'm going to pick it up, immediately use the book. And there we go, we swapped HP. We cheated the Devil Deal a little bit. Get infested, range down, shot speed up, shot speed which kind of helps. Ooh, an Health HP upgrade, up. and amnesia. Alright, well, good thing we're pretty much done with this floor. We did not find the item room, did we? I probably should have looked at the uh, the map before taking the pills, because I can't... I honestly can't remember if I... No, 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 we went to the item room. It was Mongo Baby. What am I talking about? Just go ahead and just eat that and get it out of the way. It's like when you have a bag of chips or any form of uh, snacks in your uh, your house you just you just got to eat it just so you're not tempted to eat it just you just get it out of there now mall the void is a great addition here you know scaling with our with our damage and uh causing that giant ring i remember when I, i'm pretty sure mall the void used to be able to spawn black hearts or demon hearts but uh, I think they found that to be a little too strong. I mean, Ball of the Void is still super strong, don't get me wrong. 
and it's definitely a top tier item that you should probably try to get most of the time. It's not an all uh, an all be all kind of item, but it definitely 100% helps. Dink depths one. Now, one mistake I did make on the last floor is that I probably could have gone back to the shop, bombed the donation machine, and gotten a uh, full charge from a, from the battery that was in there. But I'm gonna be a little lazy. Pick this pill up. Ooh, what's it gonna be? It's a puberty pill. Okay. If we get a couple more, then we can we can uh, get a HP upgrade. You know, it takes a total of three to get the adult transformation. And I do know that the uh, there's a mini charge there. So after we beat the boss, unless we don't uh, somehow get the amne amnesia pill effect again, then uh, I will come back and pick that up. Because on the next floor, oh, that is absolutely terrifying sounding. Listen to that big anus scream. That is absolutely terrifying. There we go. Oh no, our lucky penny's in the center of the room. And with Maul the Void, our clear speeds are just going to increase exponentially. Which is something you really love to see. And I don't think I finished what I was saying on the last floor. About uh, people not talking about a certain thing. Uh, and that would be making your goals. What is it that you actually want to do? Like, especially with uh, weight loss or just getting in shape in general. Hey, look at that. We get uh, extra soul hearts. Um, especially, yeah, like I said, with especially with uh, weight loss. Because not everybody, you know, wants, wants weight loss. You know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that actually struggle putting on weight. Uh, I've actually known quite a few people that, that have that. And they usually have something along something like celiac disease or something like that. And uh, they have to eat like so much more and do so much more than other people just, just, to, just to put on some extra muscle. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different struggle for everybody. Some have it a little bit easier because of genetics. Some have not as easier of a time. And look at that Maul of Void dealing some fantastic amount of damage. Look at that. And we do get another Devil Deal. Wow. What, what are the... I'm not going to say what are the odds, but like... We are just passing basically every, every, every devil deal chance. I'm loving it. And we get lump of coal. Ooh wee! That's real good. Now we're gonna go back, get that mini charge, and uh, do we want to go into the shop? Sure, why not? There could be a battery, and there is. And I'll go ahead and blow up the donation machine. It's it's looking a little thin these days, but hey. It's just going to be A-OK. -okay. Go back, get this mini charge, and then head down on the next floor. You know, this run is looking, looking pretty good. Hopefully we can get something on the next floor to really push it over, over the, the limits. If I see soy milk, I'm definitely going to take it, even though it would absolutely destroy our damage. I mean, like, absolutely kill it. We'd go down to maybe, like, one one damage. But we definitely would be safe from the bullet hell bosses, such as, you know, Mom's Heart, uh, Hush. You know how much I love going down there and beating him up. Definitely got to get revenge for all the runs that he's ruined. Not just my own, but my, but, but also for my viewers. All right, let's charge up Maul the Void here. Oh, Jacob's Ladder would be so good. Come on. Ah, you jerk. You would do that. Okay, we're going to have to spend a little bit of time on this floor. And hopefully we can also... Oh, dang it. I was really hoping that there would be... Ooh, a nickel. Okay. Crown of Light spawns treasure rooms and shops in the cathedral. I guess we know where we're going now. Thank you for the bombs game. 
But yeah, we're gonna have to spend a little bit of time on this floor to try to get as much as much money as we want. And with tooth and nail, we can get it proc and go inside the curse rooms for free. Since we have that little bit of invulnerability. Oh, we get the quarter. Okay, we're gonna wait for tooth and nail. Boss rush is definitely dead. That's one hundred uh one hundred percent a dead endeavor. Unless we get Mama Mega in the shop and we're able to actually buy it. <gasps> we did it! Woo! I didn't mean to spend that last five cents, but hey, you know what? Take keep the change. Here's a tip. But well, Jacob Ladder is going to get that a little, little electrical that every, every single time uh, it hits something. Ooh, a golden key as well. That's going to be pretty good. We still have a couple of, especially since there's a mega chest here. Still got a couple of rooms to open up. And you know what? I'll take both of these. Magneto, I think you're a great item. Being able to open spike chests. Oh, a golden key plus an internal chest. Don't mind if I do. Aw, and then it's the end of the eternal chest. I was hoping that we'd get an item out of it. Oh well. Ooh, that actually kind of scared me a little bit. I wasn't sure if he was going to sit on top of us, which, you know, I'm not opposed to being sat on. Oh, it wasn't there? But uh not 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 by that person. Not not by them particularly. Alright, and a pill is a tears down. Oh boy. I don't know if you're seeing, but uh Maul the Void is also using the doing the uh Jacob's ladder effect. And a health upgrade? Sure, I'll take it. You know, the way that this run's going, there's a good possibility we're gonna also get the devil deal again. To your item room and it's the d1 uh i love you d1 maybe if we get some form of consumable inside of any of these okay let's pull this penny over here because we're gonna need a little more money uh and not completely waste the charge let's get in here come here d1 duplicate this for me please look at that got an extra penny is it worth the 10 seconds it took us to go back no no it wasn't but it uh, definitely was a little more satisfying. Take a look at that. Maul the Void with Jacob's Ladder. I don't even know what kind of thumbnail I'm going to make for today. And we were going to the Cathedral, correct? Yeah, items and shops. So up we go. It's actually been a hot second since I went to the chest. I mean, actually went to the chest and, you know, won. Because I did, I did go to the chest yesterday and... Uh, if you watch that, or if you haven't seen it, just go back to yesterday's video. Which, uh, I, if you don't want to watch the whole video, I definitely recommend skipping around. It's definitely one of those, uh, watch how you want, and I'm a pretty big, uh, proponent of doing such a thing. You know, as somebody who also watches videos sped up, if I'm not, like, super interested, like, I still want to watch the person, but I'm not, like superly engaged I'll, I'll increase the speed at which the video is being played at oops i accidentally relinquished the charge here all right uh, you gotta love jacob's ladder it is a top tier item for sure and i completely forgot that these guys put down creep and i walked over it my bad but uh, hopefully we can find the boss room soon, so that way we can use the Satanic Bible. Because, uh, again, I don't want to accidentally get rid of the boss room. Boss room drop. Because we're going to need as much HP as possible. Because uh, there's a good chance that we're going to get the Devil Deal on the next floor. You know, it's only Womb 1. If we don't get it this floor, then we'll definitely, definitely get it on the next floor ourselves a little more moolah that's good that's good money is uh something that we're going to be looking for because we're going to have one more shop well actually we're technically going to have two more shops if we uh decide to go and 
beat up old Hushy, but it's not really looking like that's going to be something I'm going to aim for for today's run. I mean, yes, can I go down to Hush and beat him as is? Yeah, I, I can do it. I'm going to take a little bit of damage because, you know, that's just how I do take bad damage. But we don't have, like, a super amazing run. Even though it, it's more of a time consumption thing because Hush is going to take a little bit with what we have. Uh, not that I'm strapped for time today. I'm Today's one of those odd days where even though I'm going to be active for today, like out and about and doing stuff, cutting grass and working and, and so on and so forth, listening to jazz and all those other activities that you do on a busy day. Uh, actually, I'm recording this relatively early, so I definitely do have a bunch of time. And inside our Devil Deal is Little Delirium. I am going to grab this, just in case we're able to get a Devil Deal on the next floor. Because then we can get rid of this Red Heart, not only giving ourselves Polaroid Invincibility, so that way we have that little shield whenever we get hit, so we have a little more time to uh, deal damage to the enemy. But we'll also have the, uh, the Horror Babylon effect active. I want to take this pill. It's pretty fly. Oh, okay. Pretty fly is good. Give us a little bit of another orbital to help protect against uh, against enemy projectiles. And I guess in the off chance, you can also use it to deal contact damage, but look how close that is. There's, there's no way you, you'd want to get that close. Like, I, I, the last couple of videos, I have been talking about the most huggable mob in the game, and most hu huggable mobs in the game, and, you know, whether or not certain mobs, like, look at these Reap Creep Demon Spiders. They're not huggable at all. Like, look at them. Polycephalus, maybe. I guess that's like a personal taste, like some people, how some people like hugs, even though they're spit in the face against God and they wouldn't actively be able to survive without human intervention because of all the slew of problems they have well then again you could probably say the same thing about pandas because they're kind of going extinct because of their own stupidity what's this I'm swimming I'm just going to take a nap and then end up drowning thank you meat, Cuban meat I saw that Protecting me from that, those shots. Uh, we don't have to worry about using the Satanic Bible on this uh, this floor because, well, we're not gonna have a boss room drop. And even if we wanted to go to Hush, I don't think we'd be able to because uh, he's already passed. Ooh, Loki. I'm sorry, son, but you are on the wrong team today. Here's those the full card. Uh, not really too interested in the full card this late in the game. All right, let's see uh, how fast we can kill it. Lives. Okay, let it get to the center again. Bam. Trying to press the matter with Maul the Void. Probably going to end up getting myself hit here, but... Hey, look at that. We did it. And we do get a Devil Deal. Woohoo, baby. What's inside here? Uh, Incubus is a Inca Yes. Which will give us Conjoin. And, uh... You know what, Multidimensional Baby? I love you. I'll give you a little kiss. Mwah. But, uh... I'm going to try to hold on to the HP that we have here. So, maybe next time. I took you yesterday with that Ipecac run. Ipecac Uranus run. But the acquisition of uh, our favorite little demon baby here, which is Incubus, is going to absolutely... Now it just makes me invincible. I mean, I'd rather take that than having the full card. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to double the our output here. 
Especially with Maul of the Void. Oof. Imagine if Incubus could also pop the same effect as Maul of the Void. That would be... Okay. Metronome. I don't know why you showed up. And uh, Keeper Sack, you're a little late. The Sun card. Okay, that can give us mapping. Let's go ahead and use it now. And I would have gone the complete wrong direction. Okay, well... We can get inside of the secret room here. Which has... Oh, I was hoping for Magic Mush to pop out. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh, wee! Oh, there's rocks there. Now... I was talking to my brother about uh, the, the YouTube channel. Well, actually more is him talking to me. Uh, I was just kind of agreeing. And he was saying uh, there's multiple different avenues of increasing a channel or whatever. Which, you know, for me is... It, it, it's a hobby. It's not that not that big of an issue if I don't grow any more than I do now. Which, if you're here, then, well, and you're new, I do hope you stick around. Because, well, it is exciting to see to see uh, the channel grow. And I did not realize that I was standing there. Okay. Yeah, it's always exciting to see growth. It's always fun to see new people commenting and you know, participating. Well, not that you have to comment to participate. You know, just being here and checking me out is definitely more than enough. Okay, Curse of Darkness. Let's see what we get. Curse of the Tower. Capricorn. Ooh, and split shot. Um, do I even want Capricorn? We would lose Polaroid invincibility. I mean, they're stat ups. Okay, how about this? We go find the boss, then we come back to Capricorn. Because uh, I want to keep Polaroid invincibility because the it's not that Blue Baby's difficult. It's the journey to Blue Baby that's way more dangerous. Like, look at that. I didn't even see that, that shot getting propelled out thanks to Curse of the Darkness. And with all these polycephaluses and stains, in this, yep, we're bound to take damage there. So... Yeah, I don't think we're actually going to die on Blue Baby. Blue Baby's not hard, but uh, I can't really say the same about reaching Blue Baby. I mean, we can use the Satanic Bible to give us a little bit of HP back. Ooh, you drop something for me? That is an Amnesia Pill. That's, that's not something I wanted. I mean, I did say drop something, and well, the game did definitely provide. So I only have myself to blame for the heck. Uh... There definitely is power in, uh, what's it called? Manifestations? Definitely do believe that. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I am going to do this, but, you know, throwing it out there into the universe. It, it, it can happen sometimes. I've definitely seen it many times. Like, uh, let's, let's put one example out there. This, and this is anecdotal. Go back, pick up. Uh, well, actually, we can do one more room, get the Satanic Bible effect, and then pick up Capricorn. Like this is just anecdotal. Uh, this this uh, example. Ooh, the virus. Don't mind if I do. Uh, whenever my mother and myself go shopping or yard sailing, I should say, you know, we, we will talk about things like, oh, we we could use this, like an air fryer, and then all of a sudden, you never see any air fryers for like two years or something like that like, like three or four months and then out of nowhere they're just back to back and they just there's just so many of them and you threw it out into the universe and it got manifested now i'm not gonna i'm not saying here that people have like psychic psychic abilities that can just manifest it at will i mean it definitely does take time putting the bad juju out there a good juju but with that, uh, I definitely enjoyed this run. It's not a super out there run. I'd say this is probably mm, about an average run, but definitely a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's run, and I will see you in the next one.